And today we're going to take a look at how you can move your models with sub tools from ZBrush over to Substance Painter. We're going to take a look at how you can do that and also one extra tip just in case you haven't seen that yet. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we have a question that has to do with how you can move your models from ZBrush with sub tools over to Substance Painter. And this question is coming from Michael Crisp and he writes, I said, would it be possible for you to make a tutorial on how to or the best way to export multiple sub tools from ZBrush to Substance Painter? Yes, sir. And we are going to get down to business right now. So directly here, you would notice that we do have a cheeseburger and this cheeseburger is, well, you know, one of those things that we did in class, you know, and it is actually a model from one of our students in one of our ZBrush classes. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and take a look at all of this. And I'm just going to go through and take a look at all of them. And you can see that they are all individual pieces. Actually, if we go over to the sub tools, you can notice that they are all individual pieces all lined out. So right here, you might have also noticed that uh, our students have actually gone well to name these things properly. So if you want to get these things out, the first things you need to do is you need to make sure that you understand that Substance Painter is a texturing app, right? And as a texturing app, you need these things to be individual. That is number one, so that you can texture them individually. So that is the reason why we have the sub tool exporting. And the second one is these things needs to have UVs. Of course, Substance Painter, you know, the new version of Substance Painter does support UV unwrapping automatically. But then I think it is best practice for you to do these UVs yourself. Do them yourself and then you can export it out. And a very cool way to actually export this or do your UVs is by simply selecting these objects as they are. You can go over to your ZBrush plugin, go over to where you have your UV master and simply hit here to create UVs. If you already have UVs done, if you go all the way up and go over to your UV map, you notice that you have a UV map. So right now, if we morph this, you can see that we already have an automatic UV just right here. So I'm just going to turn this all the way back. The next thing which we have to do is relatively simple. You know, if you come here and you start exporting these objects one by one, you might have a hard time actually importing them into Substance Painter. So if we click here and you go over to export, you'll be able to export one OBJ file at a given time, which would give you a whole lot of files, which you have to go into another app to compile together and before you start exporting. But then you can also cramp these things all together as one piece and export them as OBJ and take them over to Substance Painter and start texturing. But you may not have all of that, you know, flexibilities that you want. Then the next thing which you would like to do is to export these things together as an FBX. So for you to do FBX, you need to come over here Z plugin, ZBrush plugin, go all the way to FBX export import. Make sure that you have visible on. If you have only selected on, it's going to export the selected object. If you come over here and you have all turned on, both the objects that are visible and the objects that are not visible, it's going to export every single thing. So, dependent on what you want to do, you can simply do that. So, with this done, what we're going to do is just simply go over here and simply hit on export, export this, and then we're going to fire up substance painter so that you can take a look at what we have all right so with substance painter here what we're going to do is simply go over to file new and select we're just simply going to select our cheeseburger where we expected it out to and we're simply going to hit on open and let these things be so from here i'm just simply going to click on ok and i'm going to get every single thing directly in here so depending on how heavy your file is substance painter will go through and get these things in if you do not have uvs substance painter will automatically create uvs for you as it imports these files directly in here. But I'll strongly suggest that you create your UVs somewhere else, probably because you want to add direct the way your textures will travel within your mesh. And that is the reason why I would suggest you do that. But if you don't really care about that so much, then you can just simply get your UVs directly in here in Substance Painter. So with this loaded in, you would notice that we have our objects all here in form of texture sets. So they're all here in form of texture sets. So I can go over to bread, and right now, I can just simply come over here and change the color. And with that done, I can start texturing, all right? I can texture this part. I can switch over to where I have the meat and I can start texturing. So everything that you have now are individual piece of your sub tools that you can texture independently. 
so i'm just going to go through and texture this so he, right here we have a quick one which we've gone ahead to do and you can already notice that you know we've gone through to you know paint in a couple of things here and there you can texture these things as much as you want do all of those you know beautiful stuff that you want to do drop in shadows if you want to get shadows drop in some stuff if you want to get those stuff directly here and you can start seeing you know some very cool results at the end of the day so this is totally up to you if you want to get your stuff directly in here you can take this procedure and you can get very cool results but then there is also a very neat and cool way that you can get your models into substance painter so i've already talked about this in the channel before and i'm also going to talk about it one more time so let's say for example we have this all right so we have this hammer and i'm just going to simply select this one because this other one which is the main one is extremely heavy scroll all the way up and simply use the od copy and paste so in case you have not seen the od copy and paste link is going to be in the description to that video where you can you know use that script use that plugin use that add-on whatever you call it you can use it to copy 3d geometry from one app to another and the beautiful thing about the od copy and paste is you can actually copy from literally every app, all right? So from Maya to ZBrush, from ZBrush to Substance Painter, from Substance Painter to Blender, from, you know, from, from here to there, all right? So you can do anything that you want. So what we're doing right now is we're just simply copying just this object. So we're copying this object. We're going to fire up Substance Painter right now. And with Substance Painter loaded up, what we need to do is just simply paste. So once we hit the paste button, because that object doesn't have UVs, Substance Painter will automatically create UVs for it. And it's going to run through the entire thing and simply give us this object directly in here. So with this object loaded up, looking all clean, you may want to get this the way it is and use it for anything that you want. Actually, you can start texturing this object directly from here. But then if you want to bake your textures, of course, you can just simply jump right here and start baking your textures. And you can select all of the textures that you want you know make sure that you have everything that you want done and you can simply bake these textures so if you're trying to create a pbr workflow then this is definitely something that you should consider doing and of course you can see with the power of nvidia and substance painter you can actually get your stuff baked in really really fast of course we're going to cover a video about this very soon so just simply keep an eye open on that just in case you want to see it so from here onwards you can also go through and start texturing now the downside for this is right now it doesn't support multiple sub tools so it only supports single sub tools. So in case you're trying to travel from Blender or ZBrush or any app over to Substance Painter, I strongly recommend that you check the link in the description, follow that video, understand how you can work with stuff so that you can actually get this tool and start working with it. And for that over ZBrush to Substance Painter, I guess you guys found it very interesting. And this is how you can move your files or your sub tools or your model or anything that you've created directly in ZBrush over to Substance Painter and start texturing right away without losing your sub tool hierarchy or anything like that so that's definitely going to be about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section and if you have any other question if any of you guys have questions about this or anything regarding to this please drop them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's definitely going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace